Hi there, I'm Julie Tam, Managing Broker of Lynn Realty in Houston, and this is Smarter Real Estate Weekly on Wednesdays. Well, it's been a while because, as you know, I was far along in my pregnancy in the last video, and since then, I have given birth to a big baby boy. I say big because he's big just by medical definition, but also because, I mean, I'm tiny. I'm five feet tall, <laughs> and my um, grown adult weight was less than 100 pounds. I've gained a little bit since then because I've had two kids now, two boys, two big boys that were both over eight pounds, and this latest one, eight pounds, 11 ounces. Yeah, way too big for me. Anyway, today we are talking about the owner's suite, what some people may call the master suite or the primary suite. We're talking and focusing on uh, furniture and decor. So we're not going to talk about every single detail or the fixtures, but focusing on furniture and decor. These are the French doors leading to our bedroom, and actually, you can unlatch and it's a really nice view if you open them both all the way. And we have these custom drapes on the windows with the shades there, the roller shades on all four windows. Uh, the shade or the, the drapes, I should say, are blackout. So it provides a lot of good light blockage in here for us to be able to sleep in. We have a king bed here. This set, the king bed that you can see with the headboard, um, this, you know, down here and this coordinating bench is all from Star Furniture. Um, it was a line made by some Victoria's Secret model. Anyway, what um, our designer helped us do is decide to make this a white on white color scheme. So we wanted it to look crisp like hotel bed sheets. So we have the comforter, we have the loose and fitted sheet underneath. We have this kind of green toned lumbar pillow that's very wide because we have these king size uh, Euro shams and then our pillows underneath. And then of course these sconce lights that flank the master bed, uh, this king bed. And then the nightstands, if you noticed from before when we were in our son Shay's room, he had that four poster queen size bed that was in this ebony color because this is actually from that set. But the cool thing is with design that you can do mixing and matching. You don't have to be super matchy matchy like having this entire set be this, which is what we used to have in our bedroom in our previous home. We had the bed that coordinated with this whole set, but instead now the bed has left. That's the only thing that's left. We've replaced the bed with this new one, but now we've kept the nightstands and I'll show you in a minute how we've kept the chest as well. Actually, I almost forgot the dresser also left. So we had a chest, a dresser, two nightstands and a bed, five pieces, two of which have gone to our son, Shay, uh, the older one, our older son, and then um, two here and number three in a minute, I'll show you that have stayed in our room. So as far as decor, we have basically our designer put up uh, pictures of us, my husband and I, wedding photos, um, because this is our bedroom, this is our sanctuary, so photos of us should be here. We have these candles, and then of course some electronics, like we've got a sound machine because our baby right now is um, rooming in with us, and um, you know, he's a newborn, and then my husband has this alarm clock that actually starts to uh, brighten as um, to kind of mimic the sun to help him wake up in the morning, so as the alarm is about to go off, it starts to brighten, okay? So again, the pair of nightstands flanking the bed right under the sconce is placed just as so. And actually, funny enough, if you'll notice, this is kind of like a Where's Waldo kind of thing. Look at the two sconces, how they're not exactly the same. That is not, uh, that's not our choice. <laughs> and it's not going to stay that way. What happened was, this was the original pair of sconce lights. It was these, just like this, two exact ones. But they were malfunctioning. Uh, so the, our home is newly built, obviously. This is part of my special series, Building My Dream Home. I should have said that at the beginning. So now the new model is the sconce that's over the other nightstand, um, which we are waiting for the second one of those to come in so that it can match the other one. So they don't make the other model anymore. This is the more modern take on it. And so right now they're just mismatched. But you know what? If, you didn't, if I didn't say anything, you probably didn't notice, right? <laughs> okay, and then of course in this room, everything is this gold bronze color or brass, what you might call it. There's different names for this gold color in design. Um, and so yes, another wedding photo, matching candle on my side. Of course, some technology like, you know, cell phone charger and clock and things like that. But we try to keep it really nice. Like we've got this lavender linen spray here. So you want things in your room that make it feel like a, a retreat, a sanctuary. And look, we can take a peek at baby sky. This is our, ooh, our second little boy. And he's actually smiling for the camera. 
O. His name is spelled S-K-Y-E. And this is his pack and play. So we did not bother with a crib for either of our sons because we just didn't want um, something that was so fixed. We want something that we can actually move if we need to take it either on a trip with us or into a different part of our home. He was actually awake a minute ago and now, oh, it looks like he's waking up again. I thought he was trying to go back to sleep, so I wanted to speak in more hushed tones. But anyway, over here we have this recliner. This is actually an old Ashley furniture recliner we use in our old home and the previous home before that. We've had this Ashley furniture set for gosh, like 15 plus years at this point. Okay, like I think 16 or so years. Um, but it's, you know, it's getting a little worn, but some things are in decent shape like this side table. This glass table uh, comes in a pair. The other one is downstairs in our living room. We used to have both of them in our living room, but again, you can split things up. They don't have to always be in a set. So we have one up here, which is perfect. A little side table. I've got a couple books down there, a couple coasters if I'm drinking something, a candle, another wedding photo, and then I can just place things on here. These days I'm breastfeeding, so I've got my, all my supplies. All right, let's open these French doors to go into the bathroom. Oh, before we go in there, hold on. I just forgot. I wanted to mention this, the chest. So this was the other item of the bedroom set from our previous bedroom. And we just have some things up here that we couldn't find a better place for. So like little crystals, glass, um, porcelain, uh, things, you know, collectibles, and then our TV mounted above there on the wall. All right, now let's go <laughs> into the bathroom. So you can see that there are two vanities there. Uh, in our case, it would be a his and hers. Hers would be the longer side with the makeup uh, knee space, and then his would be the shorter side. So taking a look here, we have an engagement photo of us. I mean, look at that. Come on, like push in. <laughs> this was us at age, I don't know, and we were in our mid-20s, and now we're in our early 40s. So it's been a long time. Okay, so we have our matching towel set here. Um, you can see the light kind of blue um, washcloth up there, and you'll see throughout the bathroom the matching set. And then I got these, it has a sort of a bamboo look with the white. So we have matching um, soap dispenser and also tumbler. And um, yeah, actually matching a CeraVe foaming facial cleanser. <laughs> Not a decorative item though. All right, with our tub, we made it really like spa-like. So this nice vase with this spray there, um, some Aveda bath salts, a little soap dish and a spa pillow. And then we have this little um, kind of a bamboo teak uh, stool. We right now have a towel draped here that's good for uh, when you come out of the tub, for example. And my husband keeps his here and he can move it to the shower. And these are Pottery Barn bath rugs. You can see the very long one along this tub, shorter ones in front of each vanity. And more of this matching towel set, the light blue color from Pottery Barn as well that you can see on my side, my matching tumbler and soap dispenser. And this really nice, um, my son Shay picked this out for me for Christmas, pink grapefruit hand lotion from Williams Sonoma. And I had already had the sunny citrus or orange citrus room spray with essential oils from Williams Sonoma as well. So I thought it was a nice little pair to just put together. And my little dental dish over there is by Laura Ashley. It actually came with my very first perfume from my mom when I was 12 years old. And then we have here a framed photo of our family. It's actually a family of four but number four is just hidden inside my tummy. And um, a nice little candle next to it. I had the lotion before, but I've used it up. A friend of ours gave it to me and it's uh, Jo Malone. So it, you can purchase it from Neiman Marcus or other places. I'm usually not that fancy. So again, it was a gift. <laughs> I didn't buy it myself. All right, so we have uh, more linen cabinets here and the water closet, um, Toto Bidet. And we also have the little squatty potty thing down there, which we have found to be um, pretty helpful. Uh, my husband finds it more helpful than I do. This might be TMI, but anyway, I'm shorter. So somehow with the anatomy, anyway, <laughs> it's too much information. Our shower here and another big uh, mat right here outside the shower. We have a towel spa, which mainly only I use, and it's to warm a towel in the winter time. So when you come out, it's nice and warm and toasty and um, feels really nice. And then another towel hung up right here on this hook. All right, welcome to our closet. Again, another pair of French doors. So three sets of French doors 
for this owner suite. We have these hooks here. Um, I talked in detail about the organization and all the extra things installed here. So I'm not gonna go into that in great detail today because you can watch that previous video about professional organizing um, where I talked about all this stuff. But you can come in and just see how we've placed, because we're talking about furniture and decor, this chair here. This is actually also part of a pair. This is from Pure One Imports. The other one you would have seen in a past video out in the second floor hallway next to the glass coffee table, a round, pretty, you know, semi-large one that went with the glass table set from Ashley Furniture. So the same little glass side table that you saw in the recliner in our bedroom, that's down there. So this is good here because sometimes we can sit down, put on socks or a pair of pants, um, these are photos of me from um, about 10 years ago. Yeah, <laughs> our closet, as you can see. And, um, you know, some, yeah, costume jewelry mannequins. We have some porcelain um, decor items here. Again, we couldn't find a good place for them. We didn't want to just clutter up certain areas. So we thought, you know what, we can kind of tuck these away here so they still have a place. We can enjoy them. We see them every day, multiple times a day when we come into our closet, but they're not just like on display out with tons of other things, right? So it's just a way to, to honor them, but, but, you know, kind of strike a balance between design and keeping them. All right. And so um, another thing I just wanted to point out, we you know, have this lovely folding table. We can look down here uh, where we can fold our clothes um, and, you know, sort our laundry. So that is that. I don't see any other decor items in particular to talk about, you know, a couple more picture frames here and there. Um, but yes, that's our owner's suite. So if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful with any suggestions on how you might decorate and keep a peaceful oasis for your bedroom, whether you are in your bedroom by yourself or you have a significant other, it's really a nice place to have a nice retreat and make yourself feel, you know, at peace and comfortable and relaxed when you come home from all the stresses of the world. Thank you for watching. I hope you will like this video uh, if you enjoyed it and you found it helpful and also subscribe so you don't miss an episode on YouTube and also go to the page on Facebook. I post on my page there. If you're watching it there, thank you very much. And I also post the link to LinkedIn. All right. So I don't know when I'm going to see you again next because with a newborn, wow, life is crazy. And now I've got two kids. So yeah, just pray for me and we'll hope to see you again soon right here on Smarter Real Estate. Have a great week. Bye-bye.